Hello CNC students, Mr. Carverly again. We're going to talk uh, a little bit more basic math today, a problem that we have uh, often in CNC mill programming especially, and that is how do we find the x and y coordinates of a bolt circle? So let's talk about that for a second. You may not be familiar with the, with the term bolt circle, but uh, a bolt circle, a lot of times on a print you'll find uh, a hole pattern similar to this, and this will be designated as a, uh, a five inch bolt circle, sometimes just abbreviated BC. So that means you have five holes on a five inch bolt circle. So if you were to draw a circle through all of these holes, that would be a five inch diameter circle. Uh, and those, uh, it's implied because it's a bolt circle that those holes are evenly spaced. Um, so let's look at this. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about how to do this on our TI-30 calculator in just a minute. But let's look at a circle first if we have to uh, define a couple things. So we're gonna solve our problem. Uh, five holes. With a five inch bolt circle. So before we can solve this problem, we have to know a couple things about circles. One is uh, these, these holes will all be equally spaced. That means they'll have the same angle between each one. We also have to know when we CNC program, we have to have a starting location. And always in CNC programming, even if you're using a polar coordinate method, uh, the zero degree position is at three o'clock, okay? So we're gonna draw our first hole here, right at zero. Okay, that's gonna be our first hole. Our second hole will be somewhere up in here, right? Our third hole will be over here. Our fourth hole is somewhere over here. And our fifth hole is somewhere over here. But what angle are they? Well, as you know, there are 360 degrees in a circle. So if I have five holes between them, I can use my TI-30 calculator, simply do that math problem, five divided by 360, uh, and you'll come out with 72 degrees apart. Okay? So, once we know that, we know two things. This one's at 72 degrees. This one's an additional 72 degrees away, so it's 144 degrees, and so on. 216 degrees, 288 degrees. This works for every, if it was five holes, eight holes, 10 holes, you just divide the number of holes by 360 degrees. We also know that this is a five inch bolt circle. That means this diameter is five inches across. So we have a five inch diameter. But we also need to know the radius to solve this problem. So a five inch diameter is how much radius? That's correct, two and a half inches. So the radius is two and a half inches. At this point, we really have all the information that we need to know. So let's go over to our formula. This is one of our simple formulas we use in math. This is the only two you need to know. And what we're trying to find is an X so this is our x-axis going this way. This is our y-axis headed this way. So to find from the center of this hole to this position is what is our x. Let's go ahead and number these. One, two, three, four, and five. So hole number one, what's its x position? Well, it is a positive x, two and a half inches and a y zero, right? We haven't come off the y-axis, that's a zero, and then we're the radius over. This one becomes a little more difficult because it's on an angle. I don't know what those is. So let's use our formula. And our formula for finding the x-coordinate position will be our angle, 72 degrees, cosine times the radius equals our x. So let's do that. 72 degrees cosine times the radius is 2.5 
equals the x-axis coordinate. So our x-coordinate for hole number two is 0.773 inches in x. So now we need to know our y-coordinate. Our y-coordinate formula is right here. It's angle sine times the radius equals our y-coordinate. So our angle is still 72 degrees. Sine times uh, the radius of 2.5 equals 2 inches, 378 thousandths in Y. So now we have our X and Y for first point. Let's look at our third coordinate. So our third coordinate, now we're not going from this position to this position, we're going from zero. So our x-axis will be 144 cosine times 2.5 equals a negative, sorry, that's an x negative 2.022. And our y position will be angle sine, 144 sine, times a radius of 2.5, equals a y positive of 1.469. So that's how we, we find these. We can go down through the rest of these. What you're actually going to find is hole 2 and 3 are in the same position in x. Uh, number three will be the same position in X here. It'll be a negative Y position here. So if we were to solve those, we would find that all those are equal to the same. So it's a very simple formula. Um, very easy to do here. It'll save you a lot of time at the machine um, trying to uh, calculate your hole positions uh, in X and Y coordinates. So keep making chips, keep working hard, and we'll see you soon.